Well, hello everybody. That's a stupid way to start it. How's it going, everybody? I've got right here my toy chest that's been sitting in a closet for about 15 years. I haven't opened this thing up in 15 years, and I thought it would be fun today to do an unboxing of my youth. So we're gonna check it out and see what's in here. You can see all these little, uh, like little marks on there. I remember now that's from when I used to take my glue gun and do little experiments and put toys together. I would like take the arm off a Batman toy and put it on a on a Spider-Man toy or something. I don't know if any of those contraptions are in here or not, but we'll see. I hope it's on a rat's nest in here. Thing. Oh. Oh, look at that. We got Bionicles. I remember when I used to get these. Oh, wow. This is like the original model. I, is this? This is the newer one. This I don't even know where that one goes. I remember when I used to get these. I would be, I was like, I was like a crackhead about to get his fix. I needed my newest Bionicle like crazy. I would play with these things all day long. I always got excited whenever I saw there was something new coming out from the island of Matranui as they promoted them on the commercials. And these, these ones were so stiff and I don't know where his mask is at. It's probably somewhere, it's probably somewhere in there, but well, I'll probably find it. There's a thousand of them. Now these are, oh, these are the Ra, the Rock, or the Rakshi. I remember the Rakshi. Yeah, these were like enemies on Matranui, and I think I saved. See, I didn't like it when they went with this design, the the triangular design. It was harder to pull off. I found, and for some reason, it was all upside down like this. I don't know what's with that, but. I, I only saved one canister from each one to put all the instruction manuals in. For some reason, that one's empty. This one, here we go. Now, these were the newer ones. These were the ones. Now, these are probably 10 years old. But these ones, when these came out, they were like, they looked like they were alive to me. They were so, they were so, um, what's in here? It's a piece of an arm. Oh, no. There's someone in here without an arm. They seem so flexible. What the hell are these? Kun Kunaka card. Let me put this down. Let's see, what does this do? I never did I never open these? Oh my god, in 2003. Wow. Oh my god. I wonder if I can still redeem these. <laughs> I never I didn't know that this was something why did I not do this I might have won a TV instant win game holy crap did I win I could get myself a brand new picture tube 2003 television sorry try again fucker come on man this one no come on dude please I need this. This is going to be it. I can feel it. I'm going to get a brand new plasma TV from 2003 with old HDMI. Or no, no, no. With old high def video audio cables. Damn it. Oh, look, a Hot Wheels car. I don't know why this is not opened. I will say it's kind of an ugly car, so I probably just didn't like it. And this one, I remember, I think this is from the Superman from the Justice League show that was on the Cartoon Network when I was like uh, 13 years old or something. And uh, I think for some reason, this is either like an alternative Superman or this is Super. Oh, I think this was Superman from the future when they, I think, um, I think that uh, Batman went to the future one time and he found this Superman still there. It was something like that. And so I, of course, got this. His cape is stained. I don't know. Probably from one of the... Bio oh, wow. His cape is ruined. I screwed this up. I screwed this up bad. I shouldn't have kept him in there. Yeah, I remember that. So I had this. I probably have a regular Superman, even though I always thought Superman was kind of stupid. Okay, here is the huge... Oh, this is... This is one of the Bionicle speeders. Or whatever it's called. But it's like a bike. And... 
you put them on there. I don't even know which one. I, no, that's a... Oh, great. Here's a headless Bionicle. The red one was always the leader. But they never really made um, a big stink out of that. He has no head. Uh, this is the bike. I remember I used to get these. I mean, literally, I would I would threaten to kill myself if my parents wouldn't buy me anything Bionicle. I had everything Bionicle. I I I think I I did a I I I went on a um a hunger strike one time to not if they weren't going to get me my Bionicles that came out. Oh, here this one was like this one was like the White Ranger to me, the fact that he could. The fact, uh, and his head was adjustable like that. The fact that he was like the seventh Bionicle made him like a god. I couldn't believe that they finally broke the mold of six Bionicles and they made a seventh Bionicle that was kind of like a uh, a rogue. He kind of was like the White Ranger from Power Rangers. I thought it was amazing. I had to have him. I thought he would have mystical powers when I got him. I was stupid and didn't realize these were all made of plastic. I I I I, I kind of I guess I thought I had an Indian in the wardrobe story going on. I right, get out of here, bastard. Yeah, these ones. See, this was the good old days, kid. Kids, you don't get it anymore because you're all spoiled with these video games and these these iPads and all these other things. But like, you see this? How I got a spring? I've got this right here. It's this uh little bungee cord it's not even a rubber band it's like a bungee cord and what it does is it pulls the gear and he punches i thought that was amazing you know how boring i realize this is now gives a shit all right these are these are spider-man walkie talkies so you you talk in the spider-man's crotch right there and then you can hear him in the green goblin comes out his ass um Let's see, another Bionicle. Now, this is not a special Bionicle. This is the newer version of the Snow Bionicle, and I forgot his name. I used to know all their stupid made-up names, but I kind of forgot about them because I got laid once, so this stuff kind of went out the window. I, they're losing all their masks. I bet the masks are probably the most valuable parts because all their masks are either at the bottom of this case or they're gone, to which I'm going to have to commit suicide if that's the case. Now, this one's... Kind of from my youth. This is from the 80s, really, this Ninja Turtles one. But I found it at a Goodwill store, and I still loved the Ninja Turtles when I was a kid. And they were rerunning it on 4Kids TV. Or not rerunning it. They had an individual series on 4Kids TV. So uh, Ninja Turtles was still popular when I was a kid. Now they've got those movies, which I refuse to watch because they look like complete dog shit. So that's just that. Everything was better when I was a kid. Just ask me. Oh, the, 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 these are some of the worst toys ever. They just look good, which is the um, Spawn action figures made by Todd McFarlane. They look great, but you can't do anything but look at them. I mean, it's really, it's like having a hot girlfriend. She's stupid. You don't like her, but she looks great. So you just keep her around on a shelf and use her when you need her. Um, oh, my God. These things never go together right, and they were a pain in the ass. Piss off. Shithead. Okay, now we can see the continuation of my obsession I had as a kid. Oh no, his arm is broken. <laughs> he sat in there too many years. Um, let's see. I'd like to imagine there was little toy wars going on in here. There was resource struggles in my toy box because... You know, somebody wanted some dust lint. All right, you see, going back to what I was saying, look at this. This was amazing. Do you see that? When I was a kid, that was unbelievable. I mean, I'm fresh off a of Sega Genesis, so I'm not used to all that amazing 3D fighting games that all these kids have these days. I was sitting here, I was just like, hell yeah. I used to punch my, my brother with this, and he, he hit me really hard with his fist. I was just kind of being playing. He was a bit of a dick sometimes, I don't know. But... This thing was amazing. And it had this little rolly thing and a gear and all that. And this is just shit now. Who would play with that garbage? Let's see. This is... Oh, who gives a fuck? Um, oh, wow. It's a McDonald's. It's a rare McDonald's toy. Mm -hmm. With a white 
This looks like something the Monopoly man would drive. I don't care. Ah, I've once seen this. Where you, how does this, yeah, yeah, you wind it back. No, how does it work? Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, this one was good. You do that, and it just rolls along the way. You don't even have, you don't even have anything. Just boom, boom. That's because we didn't have video games in 1991. We kind of did, but they weren't that good. I have a traffic cone. Just wanted you to know I have a traffic cone. More Bionicles. Now, I think this was like the mid-range set, and I think this is actually when they, they kind of, for this one in particular, I think his torso was upside down. And these are all the instruction manuals. Let's see, who's this one? Oh, it's the brown guy. Yeah, see, I kept all my instruction manuals because I was a psychopath who collected everything as a child because, God forbid, I went out and made friends. So I just kept everything together. This looks like some sort of crazy doctor's autopsy book. Some serial killer. Oh, look, you can conjoin the torsos to make a soup. Why didn't I ever do that? That's amazing. Why would I never do that? What a dipshit I was. I missed a grand opportunity. Let's see. Let me get this back in there. And sealed and safe. I can sleep tonight. Hey, look. Another one of these. Um, oh, a rock she. See, these guys look, these actually, I'm not even kidding, these gave me nightmares when I was a kid. They seemed so creepy, I had a dream that like three of them were chasing me. I don't know why they were giant in my dream and why I didn't just keep them about six inches tall, but for some reason they became eight foot tall in my dream and they were just chasing me. And I got very involved in these things as I was a child. I, I, my imagination got the better of me a lot. I would sometimes scare myself just playing with these things because I would get so emotionally involved that I would start to think they were real. But then they put me on meds for my schizophrenia. Oh, uh, let's see. All right, lots of... Okay, here's another rock she. Wow. Hey, look! It's that guy who's not Eagle Fang or Hawk Fang or Hawkeye, whatever his stupid name is. So he's not stupid like Hawkeye. He's much better. He's got his big thing of arrows. And when he shoots people, he doesn't look away to try to look cool because he's a stupid character, like Hawkeye. Just wanted to bring that up. Yo, check out this babe. You know, these, these action figures were great because they looked just like the cartoon. But I personally hate action figures you can do almost nothing with. See, like, I feel like I'm playing with a doll. I, I, I think action figures, oh no, she's got something, I think her mace was hitting her right breast there for a couple of years, or a decade. I, 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 I think that action figures should have action. The arms should bend, the knees should bend, you should have a lot of articulation. This just seems like a doll to me. I don't enjoy it. And the fact that she's a woman makes it look like I'm playing with a Barbie right now. Um, let's see, oh, these ones, they would ball up, you see? They would come out like this. I'm not going to remember how to put this back. And then the legs would spin. And they would come out like this. And then the and then um after that George Lucas ripped them off and put them in a Star Wars movie. And they had a little force field around them in the Star Wars movie. So just want to put that out there. Literally they're like a bird. I spent about 400 hours of my youth playing with this thing. Fuck the Lego Corporation. Um, oh, look, another McDonald's thing. Who cares? Another Todd McFarlane toy that just does nothing because it's so intricately designed. So there's really nothing it can do. Can't turn his head. His arms are stuck because of his staff. You can take his sword out, and I think you can put the sword in place of his hand, or you can just pretend that you're using the sword, if you're 11, like I was. Yeah, at 11 years old, I had these toys. I had horrible parents. They just didn't, they didn't, 
they did not check in. Well, let's see. Oh, look. It's a little tub with a little mask. These look like tasty little treats, but they're actually little masks that you would put on the smaller Bionicles, which I should find, which I believe are right... See, this is one of them, but he's missing his head. These were like the citizens of Matranui, and these guys were the heroes. Again, missing his mask. The heads are hard to find. Anything that pertaining from the shoulders up with the Bionicle characters... It's hard to keep. Um, ooh, a power cord. Holy crap, it's a Tyco RC four-hour quick charger. I wonder what the hell that went to. I'm sure that's not compatible with much anymore. Now this is all that's left, <laughs> but I know what this goes to. This goes to my Unicron transformer that was as big as a basketball and he because he was the planet unicron um i really really wish i still had that i'm pretty sure i gave it away to goodwill because i was a retard Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels. Lots of Hot Wheels. There's a lot more down there. This one's cool because it folds out. See, it folds out, and then you can tow away other Hot Wheels on it, which is pretty cool. So you can you can pretend that you're ruining someone's life because they didn't pay a bank enough money. That's that's a good little thing to start teaching people young. Make them slaves to the bank. Um, let's see. Okay, listen. We've got a lot of Bionicles here. Okay, listen, we've got a lot of Bionicles here. A lot of Bionicles. We're just going to push these aside. All right. Jesus Christ, all the Bionicles. See, this is when um, uh, Lego was kind of having an idea shortage. They started re-releasing the same ones, but with a different color pattern. I mean, only an idiot would rush out and buy the same thing twice. I got a little Master Splinter here. I have no Ninja Turtles. I never got any Ninja Turtles, and I don't know why. I, for some reason, Ninja Turtles were always hard to come by. I can't tell you why. It just was that way for me. I know they weren't hard to come by in the stores. I just always missed them. I think it was when, when I was getting a lot of my action figures and stuff, it was when Transformers Armada was out. And I used to have every character for Transformers Armada. I mean, literally... Every one of them. And Armada had a cast of like 60. I mean, in the end, by the end of that series, they went to war on Unicron. So you saw so many of them. And I got all of those guys. Every Christmas, every birthday, all I asked for was that. What else? More Bionicle mask. I don't even know where the... I think these are like the inner mask. I think the Bionicles had... Their outer mask, and it protected their inner mask, if I remember right, or something like that. And I don't even know what this is. Makuta. I don't know. See. Ooh, monster trucks. Oh, and here's a Justice League stand. I'm guessing that uh, either Superman or Wonder Woman or someone stood on that. Which I used to have a Wonder Woman, but she's gone. Oh my god! Is that what I think it is? I thought I got rid of all of them like a dipshit. It's a mini-con. 
These were the mini transformers that attached to the big transformers that gave the transformers more power. Let me see if I can transform him right now. Let's see. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's something here now. How's this work? You bend it or you break it. I'm not sure if I'm breaking it. Okay, see? Look. Now you got to imagine that light is shooting past you really fast and this is happening in an instant because it's not... It's not really happening in an instant, so we gotta just pretend, folks. And then is come, and there we hold on and look at that, the mini con, and it can and it can do this. Oh, why didn't it do it? It's supposed to shoot. Look at that. That's been waiting ten years to do that. It's been sitting in that box just waiting. Yes, the mini con. I've been. So remorseful at the fact that I threw away all my Transformers when I was younger. I don't know why I did that, other than the fact that I'm an idiot. But everything else in this box is just, you know, cars and Bionicle parts. I mean, it's like a Bionicle graveyard. Oh my god, look. It's another Minicon. See? I've still got a few. I must have missed them when I was acting like an idiot and getting rid of my Transformers. But yeah, everything else in this box is just, you know, Hot Wheels, which is nothing interesting. And that's it. A few a few Bionicle parts, nothing more. It's actually quite fun going down memory lane and remembering how maniacal and crazy I was about getting all the latest toys and what I needed. And how now, when it comes to toys, they're really just mostly for collectors. I don't think kids play with toys as much as they used to. They're all playing video games. But anyways, hope you all enjoyed.